all right hey everyone and welcome back to my channel it's me miss mo um i'm about to go for a walk but before i did that i wanted to um i want to plant these things before um these pineapple roots things before i go <laughs> so i don't forget and i'm prioritizing these plants um but yeah and if you all are interested I got a stain on this shirt because I'll be wearing it all the time. But, you know, if you are interested in purchasing my fuck, <laughs> my fuck sweatshirt, um, that just sounds funny. But if you are interested, the link is in my description box for my storefront. Um, storefront. So you can go there and, you know, peruse around, see if there's anything new that I've uploaded onto there or design on there so yeah but while i'm planting or replotting or replanting this pineapple plant <laughs> while i'm doing that i am going to talk about um um weaponizing emotions um so i'm just gonna take a quick pause get myself settled and then i'll be back all right, let's see. Will I be too low? Okay, no. So, oh, these are, this is one of the pineapples. Um, and I'm gonna be using this dirt that I got from Home Depot. It is the, what's the thing called? It's like some organic garden mix thing. It's called. Oh, pro mix. Okay, so while I'm doing that, I'm going to be talking. Uh, I wanted to talk about um, like weaponizing, weaponizing emotions. And the thing that made me think about this is that it's unfortunate and I'm not I'm not saying that only women do this but um, I think because as women we are taught to um, embrace our emotions for the most part um, to be more I say to be more expressive with our emotions that we know how to tap into that bitch <laughs> real quick um, and I think like men know how to tap into the emotions too, but I think it's very limited. I think they understand happy or upset, um, not necessarily sad or disappointed. Like, <laughs> I feel like as women, we are able to, we are, we are able to tap into, um, and we're, we're taught to tap into um, various forms <laughs> of the human emotions. Um, and so, yeah, it's, it's easy for us to, to get to that point or it's easy for us to like express ourselves or express how we're feeling. Um, and again, with men, it's just like, I'm happy, I'm cool, or I'm mad, I'm upset. Like, it's like, you know, like there is more, you know, there is a list of emotions actually. And so, um, but I, I want to talk about like weaponizing emotions because, um, where I work, I work with a lot of women. And that is, it's not, it's different for me. It's, it's very different because um, as somebody that, um, you know, I'm a woman, but I haven't had the best relationships with women. Um, and that started from like, even as a, a girl, I haven't had the best relationships with women. and I, But I would also say, <clears throat> no, I haven't had the best relationship with boys, too. I would just say with people. But it's something about when you, as a woman, when you don't have a good relationship, or as a girl, as a lady, when you don't have a good relationship with people that identify as you, um, such as other girls, ladies, or women, it is... It hurts. It hurts a lot to the point where it's just like, you know what? I don't, I don't fuck with girls. Like, I, I prefer to hang out with boys. Um, 
either they have you know less emotions and therefore are less um, expressive with it um, or they like they just don't react too easily to stuff or you know I mean but that could be because they're not really showing their emotions <laughs> but it is but it's just that it, it, it just seemed like it was it was less of a headache to be around boys and they were like I could be more human in a way like I it felt as if I needed to be perfect when I was with um, when I was around other girls and it's like if you strayed away from not being ladylike or not being like the other people in the group um, or the other girls ladies women in a group like something was wrong with you like you just are outcast and so for for me I've always preferred not to be around a lot of girls um, or women ladies I just I just don't want to but then as I got older um I was like I do kind of want that relationship with them um and it, I mean it even got to the point where I you know I joined the sorority that was maybe not the best decision to do <laughs> it's like going from zero to a hundred it's like girl you really want to do this? But I did it. Um, and I, I mean, I have some great blind sisters. So that was like the really, the cherry on top of it all. And I think the things that I can handle women in small doses, <laughs> I don't handle a few. Give me one to two. One to two. But if it's more than, if it, I get a three, four, five, six, hey, uh-uh. What is this now? Uh-uh. Don't bring no trouble over here, mom. Don't bring your trouble over here, mom. Um, but yeah, so I'm saying all that to say is that um, I don't, I try not to hang out with too many women. However, when I'm at work, I'm surrounded by a lot of women and there's not a lot of men at this organization. I'm like, where the dudes at? <laughs> you know, I'm not, I'm not searching for a man or anything. I mean, I'm searching for a man. But not in the romantic sense. I'm just like searching for some like diversity <laughs> at this point. Like what a dudes at? Um, but like working with a lot of women, I get hit with a lot of emotions. Different emotions all at the same time. And one thing that... And I would say that the perks of like you know being a tomboy um hanging out with a lot of dudes is just like you hit like you have emotions but you keep it moving it's not the healthiest but in some ways it does allow you to stay focused on your goals um or stay focused on like what you're doing like because emotions can cloud your judgment and um and what I noticed about being with a lot of women is that, you know, I get hit with a lot of emotions at different times. And it's, it's like a, a, a sweet spot, you know. <laughs> it's a sweet spot when everybody is happy and it's like, ah, all is good with the world. But then it can be like someone is newly happy. Someone is um, about to end their happy spell. <laughs> Someone is at the peak of their anger spell. Like, it's just like everybody's just like boom, 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 boom. And you know, you know, as human beings, we have different things. We have our personal lives going on on top of work frustrations. Um, but what I was noticing about working with a lot of women was that they know how to weaponize their emotions. And like, you know, we hear this a lot with the Karens and like with white women. We all know that white women know how to weaponize, like, <laughs> feel sorry for me, bitch. It is no different. And I think it just comes down to like, you know, I think it's, it's a woman. I, I don't think it's necessarily a woman thing, but they know how to tap into that bitch real quick. Um, and I'm an empathetic person. Like, I don't like... I don't like when people are sad. You know, I know you don't have to be happy all the time, but like, I, I prefer if you're just not sad. I prefer if you're not sad because, you know, there's things on the other side. Um, there's goodness on the other side, but to on a selfish standpoint, 
I feel like I literally feel your pain. And so like <laughs> when you said it hit me and to be selfish, I ain't trying to get hit with that burst of sadness or that burst of anger. Like I feel it. And it's like, why? <laughs> why me? You know? But yeah, but I noticed that like they and I don't know if they're like doing it on purpose. I don't know. But it just seems as if like they weaponize their emotions to to get people riled up. You know, to make them and not only just to get people riled, riled up, but to make them feel what they're feeling so that they can feel sorry for them and so that they can help them. And it's always like, um, you know, there's so much going on. You know, there's um, this thing is really getting me upset. It's like something is hurting me. <laughs> I don't need your help. But something right now is hurting me. <laughs> and you're like, oh, well, if you don't need my help and there's nothing I can do right now, um, why are you telling me? Like, it's like, <laughs> and, I, and what it comes down to, I'm, not, I'm sorry to be just like, kind of like, damn, you a bitch. But it's like, if I can't help you, why are you telling me? It's like, oh, you're telling me because you want me to feel sorry for you so that I can help you do something or like so eventually I can help you do something is what I'm is what I'm thinking. Dang, I'm so um yeah but I just never knew that you know again I go back to like the Karen's of the world and I've seen Caucasian oh shit Caucasian women do this. I remember I was working someplace. This Caucasian woman screaming, yelling, making a big fuss about stuff. Nobody ain't saying not a damn thing because Caucasian women, they have they can have emotions. You know, but when uh, a melanated woman, a black woman, when we have, or when a melanated person has emotions, they're dangerous. Yeah, they got problems. But working where I work, Karens are the enemies. So we don't we don't have a we don't have a lot of Karens, nor will we hire one, you know. And so, um, but even though we don't have a lot of Karens, we do have a lot of women. And I think um, and. Unfortunately, melanated women have not, kind of like what I was saying previously, like melanated women, you know, we don't, it's like we don't have permission to feel. But being in a space where it's like we black and we proud. <laughs> oh, we gonna feel up in this bitch. <laughs> and we gonna feel it all the way through, you know? And so, and they be feeling it. They be feeling it, you know? It could be a... Um, the the I, the wrath of a woman I I know I'm a woman and I'm I'm speaking as if I'm not but I'm just like but I'm a I'm a woman that's like I can get to my emotions but I know how to like turn it off um or I know how to sub, sub subdue it you know to the point but a wrath of a woman a melanated woman I, I, it's scary now. I tell you, they have the pain of everybody around them. Mm -hmm. So, I know I'm talking a lot. <laughs> um, but I, I I do want to just like, you know, just say that that weaponization, because that, that's what it gets to now. Weaponization of emotions, that shit is real. Like, it, it, it really is real. And unfortunately, I experience it a lot working where I'm working because I'm working with a lot of women. And I will say this. It's not just a woman thing. Men can do it too. But it's just, uh, um, you know, I, I think at this point, by the grace of God, you know, they not that tapped into their emotions. But when men feel, uh-uh. 
It's like, dang, brother, you need to let that out more often. Like, don't don't hold on to that too long, you know? <laughs> because, brother, you sound like you about to bomb a place. How you express yourself. Um, but I, I, I do think that the weaponization of emotions is real. I don't think that it's just meant for, I mean, I don't think it's just like, oh, this is just like what Karens do. I think a lot of women are capable of doing it, and I've seen it. I've been in situations, and, you know, this past week at work, um, like the, the past two weeks, you know, it's always some shit, you know. I was, I guess, like, I don't know. It, it's just like they people tell you stuff they, and they get you riled up. They make you, like, they get you, a, they share, like, their frustrations or whatever, which makes you upset. And it's like, wait, they're not upset anymore. But I'm still upset because they were upset because, you know, they made me see something that, made me upset um and I, I just feel like it's a dangerous thing to like to be around um but it's also you i think it's also something that you should just be aware of especially just going back to like you know what my whole channel is about which is like self-love you have to be careful when you're around other people's um emotions and you have to be careful around people who like to weaponize their emotions to get you to do whatever they want you to do. And I feel like the, the type of people that do that often are the people that um, are very quick. They're very quick to say what is wrong, what's the, the wrong things that are going on in their life. I'm not saying that, you know, they, there isn't some fucked up stuff going on. Um... But these people, they are just like, it's like, it's never anything good. There's always something bad going on in their life. It's just like, nothing. <laughs> like, there's nothing good happening right now. Like, you're breathing right now, you know. I mean, even if it's something as basic as like, I don't know, you can wiggle your toes. You know, like not everybody has that, not everybody has that, that the opportunity to do that. But it's just like the people that are so quick to tell you the worst things that are going on in their life. I feel like those are the biggest, um, like they're, they, you know, I'm, I'm saying a lot of words, strong words. I feel like they act as terrorists, you know, on yourself, on yourself love on your your mental your mental wellness because they're like you know if i'm about to feel like shit you about to feel like shit with me my boy like you feel me like it's like no one is safe and it's like you and, and then on top of that no one is safe but they want you to give they want you to give to them everything that you have like if i know so it's like they they're so quick to complain Complain or maybe I mean it, it's a, I feel like it's a fine line between complaining and like just sharing like an update on life and it's just like for these people it was just like or sharing an update or like being for like being frustrated like and I don't know it, it's it's a dangerous it's a dangerous situation I feel like especially when you're trying to get your own shit together it's a dangerous role to travel when you have people in your life, your role dolls, whatever, family, friends, co-workers, that are very quick to tap into your emotions to get you upset. Um just so that so just so that you can feel sorry for them or that you can have empathy for them and help them in some shape or way. And you know, I'm not saying all of this to say that you shouldn't share how you feel. I feel like it's, it's very important to share how you feel, but as you're sharing how you feel, like, what is the goal, you know? Is the goal to just get this off of your chest? 
Um, or is the goal for you to get this off your chest and hopefully find some type of solution? Or is the goal for you to just get attention? You know, get so I just feel like it's it's like the weaponization of one's emotions. I feel like that's a, a very real thing. And sometimes I feel like I experience it a lot where I work by being with a lot of women who know how to tap into that bitch real quick. Um, and again, not to say that man cannot do it, but I'm just saying that women know how to get into it faster. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I just want um, to finish replotting this this plan, but I, I, I just feel like, you know, that's a, a, a thing to really be mindful of, like, when you're on a, a self-love, self-care journey, you know, be mindful of how you take in other people's emotions, because that, because it can and it will impact how you move through life, like, um, yeah, because, like, as human beings, we're all connected, so, like, you know, when you see somebody smile, you you might even smile. When you see somebody's um, angry, like you might get angry because we're we're all connected in this life. But I'm just saying that just truly be mindful of the people that are like they are so quick to say what is the bad thing that's going on in their life. And just like not to sound like a bitch, but. We all got shit going on, you know? I'm not screaming to the top of the world um, because what what can they do right now to help me? I don't, I don't need them to do necessarily anything to help me. I need to figure out how to help myself, you know? You know, like I was saying, we're connected. So it's easy to get caught up when, you know, especially when, you know, people that you care about are hurt. But I, I, I think it's just in, in very important to just, like, try to be as level-headed as possible um, and, to, and to understand what is, what is being played out in front of you. Again, I feel like the people that like to weaponize their emotions are, like, the habitual people that, like, always trying to make you feel something that's not happy. <laughs> Like, or, or good spirits. It's always something sad. Um, and it's just like, I don't know. I'm not trying to say, like, keep your shat, <laughs> keep your sad, sad shit to yourself. I'm really not. Because sometimes, you know, you just gotta let that shit out. But I'm just like, if you sharing sad shit, why are you sharing it? Like, it, does it have any context in this conversation? If it don't, then why are you doing it? I just feel like that's just something to keep in mind. And to ask yourself, maybe this person is trying to weaponize, you know, their emotions right now to get me to do something. I don't know what they want me to do yet because they haven't asked me, but maybe an, an ask is around the corner, you know? But, all right, y'all. Hopefully I didn't offend too many people. Maybe I did offend some people because a lot of people do this and they probably don't even know that they're doing it or they are aware that they're doing it and they're just like, I don't know. <laughs> like, why are you being a heartless bitch? Now I have been told that I could be kind of heartless. So, you know, take this information, you know, with that understanding. But I also just feel like, and I am my, my, my father's daughter. Uh -huh. I was raised by an African man, so <laughs> they don't give a fuck about your feelings, girl. <laughs> they don't give a fine, blind fuck. Um, so <laughs> do have that understanding too. Um, but, you know, but I, but I do think that there's some, you know, there's some truth to like what I'm saying about like, People do weaponize their emotions. We all can see it with Karens. But, you know, I think women do it in general. And I think men can do it um, if they were more in tune with their emotions like that. 
So just something to keep in mind on a self-love journey. Um, be mindful of people that try to weaponize their emotions. But all right, I finished planting this plant. All right, thank you all, and I'll see you all next time.